Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video here at Tailman. Thank you so much for tuning in. We're going to be taking a look at the Rapid Strike Ushifubi Max deck that has been talked about a lot online. Um, I think especially by Jake Gearhart, so props to him for the list. Um, the Lapras inclusion and this definitely seems like a um, complex deck to play. Hopefully we'll be able to figure out the puzzles that allow you to win um, in most or every scenario and this deck does play a lot of singles so price checking will be very important um, it plays one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two single cards so um similar to the concept that tord brought back um he was playing uh, dark type Pokemon to help counter Mew. This time around we have a different approach with Lapras and Radiant Blastoise, especially with the Palm Shed ability. You must discard one or any card from your hand in order to use this ability and once during your turn you may put two damage counters on one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So an easier way to eliminate those pesky mana feeds that ruin um, Rapid Strike or Shifu VMAX this day. As you're trying to G Max Rapid Glow, you discard all energy from this Pokemon. It attacks with 120 damage to two of your opponent's Pokemon, which is amplified by Pathemian's Throwing Coach ability, allowing you to do 30 more 2v Pokemon, and Telescopic Sight, allowing you to do another 30 more. So you listen, you're doing 180 to two different Pokemon, which is really good. We're also gonna try and set up numbers through Blastoise, through Quick Shooting, and through Six Again for Yoga Loop that we may um, put two damage counters on one of our opponent's Pokemon, and if that Pokemon is knocked out by this by damage from this attack, then you take another turn after this one. You skip your opponent's turn, which is really, really nice. Um, we're gonna be using the Intel in line to help set up. We're gonna be using Octillery as well to help search for Rapid Strike cards. We're gonna have Manaphy to protect our own bench, and we will also have Lapras with the Splash Arc attack where you put all energy attached with Pokemon into your hand, and then this attack does 100 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon, which, once again, is amplified by Pesimian and by Telescopic Sight. Um, outside of that, we have Melanie on right hand to help set up, or to help power up. We have uh, Irida to help set up by finding a lot of these water-type Pokemon and then finding any of the cards that search for other Pokemon to establish their worship and whatnot. Um, finds us energy, finds us techie cards, finds us recovery, literally finds us everything. And then we have Cheryl to tank a hit and heal with Urshifu. And finally, we also have Boss's Orders to chase down something specifically, along with Training Court to recover energy and Tower of Waters to free retreat our Rapid Strike Pokemon. So there's a lot going with this deck. I will be definitely misplaying a lot with this and not making the optimal plays, but we're gonna try our best. And so um quick message from our sponsors and then we'll get started with our first game if you're planning on buying any cards from tcg player make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel it's the best way to do it and it's free looking for ptgo codes photon store has all the latest sets and promos instantly delivered to your email you can use tailman code when checking out for five percent off Card Market is Europe's largest online marketplace for Pokemon cards. Whether you're looking for sealed product or singles, vintage or the latest sets, just follow the link in the description to find what you need. This video is sponsored by the Pokemon TCG deck building website, PokemonCard.io. All right, so I did win the coin flip. However, um, I want to choose to go second. I feel like it makes sense to choose to go second with this deck. Well, maybe not. Maybe you want to apply pressure with your Shifu. Like, I don't know. Keep calling so strong. Rita is so strong. Um, I mean, this is not bad at all, right? Um, I might choose to start with a Sixagon. And just so I have the switching already. And I do have Quick Pull to search for Remorade. And if Octillery is not priced, then I have a way to start applying damage. But. Depending on what you're up against, you might not even want to bench the Urshifu at all. Alright, this Heavy Ball is also pretty nice, um, just to price check a little bit more easily. I did price the Octillery, however, so getting this Sobble out is very nice, but having the Octillery priced is very unfortunate. Uh, very unfortunate indeed. Oh well. Um, definitely want to try and apply pressure to the Arceus. 
Um, now I am missing the um, like the easy access to the energy, which really sucks. Glad I can bench that, no problem though. But how do I find? I mean, do I even need to quick pull? What would I even quick pull for? I definitely don't need the energy, right? I get the energy I could Melanie. So what I'm thinking is if I quick pull for the Remorate and I get a way to grab um, Peonia, then I could unlock potentially the artillery, but it's not even guaranteed. So fine, I'll get rid of the energy. I'm not happy about it, but it is what it is. And we'll just establish another sawball. Um, all right. So I already know I have another soul prize, the artillery prize, etc. Um, I am technically also threatening, like my friend doesn't know that I don't have access to a fighting energy next turn. And energy surge plus A fighting, there's merit to that as well. Ooh, but we're up against drought on VMAX, so that's really bad. That is in fact really, really awful. And we also get bossed into the active, so that's also <laughs> really bad. Okay, so I'm definitely not getting an attack off here, which really sucks. Really, really sucks. Um, yeah, I don't think Duraludon is beatable. You don't have a good enough water type attacker to deal with Duraludon. So that's not ideal. Um, yeah. All right. Just gotta go ahead and grab the bucket, plus the drizzle. And so I will go ahead and attach energy somewhere. <laughs> yeah, this is not looking great at all. Maybe I should have gone Melanie, since I did top deck the incense. Might have been way better. It's just like I'm already very discouraged by the fact that um, my opponent's playing Arceus Duraludon. Alright, I mean, they did expect me to take a KO, which is clearly not happening. So, we'll do this. I have Melanie, I have access to Italian, but it's just finding the energy. It's prizing the Octillery is just way too much. Um, could have maybe attached to the active, though. If I did... Yeah, attaching to the active would have been better, possibly. Well, no, no, yeah. I mean, I needed a bench remoraid anyways, if I wanted to go for the Peonia play. And it, this is just not working out well. I feel like Draladon has to be a bad matchup for you. Like, there's no way it isn't a horrible matchup for you. All right. That's two fighting energy gone, which I don't think will matter in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, it's just you can't get past that drought then. Oh my gosh. Okay, they just had raw back to back bosses orders. Okay. Well, now I can right hand though. They're only getting one prize card, so I'm less afraid of the drought now. I mean, it, they're gonna have a lot of turns to top deck, but I'm definitely less afraid now. Alright, so I am most certainly getting Ryan, right, off of this friend. It's too bad I grabbed the melody. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna grab Drizzle. With Drizzle, we're gonna grab Ryan. Yeah. Which then gets us almost ready to go in the grand scheme of things. Um, we're hoping my opponent doesn't get the V friend right here. Um, two damage counters don't really matter at the moment. 
so I'd rather just keep my energy. Uh, or would they ever matter against the draw then? Probably not. Alright, so we just take this KO. And then we have pressure of the drizzle afterwards. We kind of lock the other Sobble, but my opponent immediately promotes the draw then. That is really bad news. Two card hand. I feel like the way you win is by keeping this healthy as long as you can, right? <laughs> On to the next game. All right, so my opponent last turn chose to grab a Duraludon, right? In order to power it up and leave himself, leave themselves with a zero card hand, right? Zero card hand and hope that they would get something of their prize cards or their top deck in order to get out of the situation they were in instead of grabbing a research that turn using the research attacking into the urshifu what is this hand <laughs> and um researching into hopefully a quick wall a draw done or an ultra wall to find the draw done and do the exact same thing so just i don't know horrible decision making that doesn't get punished by the research top deck or research price card all right so same conundrum i'm gonna choose to go first again even though i feel like i mean maybe you choose to go first with this deck and then like you're not punished for going second because you can have very strong um starts we are going to mulligan have a very sad hand for sure but it is what it is all right so what are we up against shadow rider calyrex <laughs> why oh my god <laughs> What even is this? I mean, if I had gone second, I'd be dead, right? So I'm glad I went first, I guess. So this deck, it has a lot of moving pieces. It has so many options, right? But in all those options, the early game feels super shaky. And this is just a really bad matchup overall, I want to say. Like, maybe you can create a checkmate scenario of sorts, depending on their bench, but it's not likely. I mean, they don't know what they're up against, but... <laughs> like, how could you go about this? You would have to... I mean, maybe back-to-back G-Max -back Rapid Flows onto two Calyrexes is the way you do it that's how all right well we're gonna grab drizzle i think that might be the way to do it we're gonna grab drizzle yeah i actually think that's definitely the way to do it and we're gonna grab a Rita here and i'm gonna grab sobble <laughs> sobble and bucket I'm gonna bench the Sobble, I'm gonna play the Bucket. Now we're gonna Air Balloon, Retreat, and use Keep Calling for the Remoraid, other friend, Sobble, and possibly the Passimian, honestly. I feel like I might have to bench all three Urshifus in one go at some point here. So what if I just bench this now? Like, can my opponent go boss KO on the Urshifu? And if they can, should I bench both? Should I forgo the Sobble here? Maybe that's what I do, actually. 
Do I have access to artillery? Yes. Okay. I think that's what I'm gonna do instead. Oh, I price my telescopic sight and my Peonia. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Things are just not working out for me today with this deck. Um, like I said, there's a lot of moving pieces, but... And you do have a little wiggle room, but it just... Uh. <clears throat> Psychic energy down. They need switching card, plus energy, plus boss. Out of three cards in their hand. And that's a Crobat, which could be useful. Yeah, I think I should have gone Sobble Lapras Basinian, actually. Probably should have done that. This was unnecessarily risky. I don't know, we'll see. So, there's a Crobat, which could open up um, Yoga Loop Place as well. All right, well, they have the switch anyway. So now they just need energy plus boss. Do they get it? That's the question. And now I have double Calrex, so that's even worse. There's the energy. We attach it to the active, then we know they have the boss. If they draw cards, then we might be safe-ish. Because they would need exactly energy boss, right? Triple Calyrex, all with different arts too. The OG alternate art, the new character art, and the black Shadow Rider Calyrex. All right, seems like the. Ah, uh, never mind. Okay. All right. So I can't do this, right? I can't use. Gmax Rapid Low this turn, I'm pretty sure. Like, guaranteed. Okay. So this will get me a... Incense and a Quick Ball. Yes. And then with the Quick Ball, I'm gonna discard... What though? I want the energy. If I grab, oh, I can't grab Passimian and Blastoise though. Actually, yeah, this is fine. I don't have space for the Blastoise. I, I prefer the Passimian at this point. So I'm gonna do this and grab the Passimian, and then I will Melanie to the active. Okay, right. I got the energy, which is nice. So I'm doing 150 to two different Pokemon. Now I technically do have the space for the Blastoise though. So maybe that's worth it. Now I can grab the Blastoise and use its ability too. But it will clog up my bench a little bit though. So I'm doing 150 to 2 Pokemon. Which honestly might just be enough. Just damage the two Calyrexes. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Alright, I'll grab you. So, do I want to use Blastoise right now? I think I do, actually. I feel like I get value out of Blastoise right here. So, I'm gonna do this. Then I'm gonna grab a Quick Ball for the Blastoise, right? Yep. And then I get to use their own Stadium against them. I'm gonna go scoop up net on you, friend. Then I will go quick ball. Kinda wanna say the ordinary rod. 
I might want to put back energy somehow. So I'll put back, I'll discard the Urshifu. From... And I'll grab the Radiant Blastoise. And then I'll get back the energy. All right. So I'm gonna Pump Shot, place two damage counters on one Calyrex. And then I'm not gonna evolve yet. I will, however, G-Max Rapid Flow onto these two friends. So now all I need to do is do this again. Power up the Urshifu, have it ready to go and use Blastoise's ability and I will have taken six prizes in two turns. So how does my opponent overcome this? If they attack with one of the Calyrexes, right? But then what I can do is have two Urshifus benched Okay, they're not even powering off the damage Calyrex, so they might not even be thinking about that, which is fine. Completely fine by me. Um, and I should have access to the cards, right? I have Raihan, which powers up the Urshifu, finds the water, Octillery finds the double, um, the Rocket Strike energy, and then that's it, right? That should be it. If they just attack with the active or with the undamaged Calyrex. Um, and they're out of ability, so they have to, right? So we did it. Unless we get Marnie. Marnie would be the our demise, actually. Marnie would actually be our demise. Because then, like, because of this dude. If I had been able to scoop up net this dude and discard the energy that way, that would have been great. Maybe I could have done it differently, but I'm not so sure. All right. So I don't even need to search for the energy since I have one with training cord. So I'm pretty sure we've got this, right? Like I'm not missing anything. Let's do it step by step. To that. Pump shot onto this friend. Evolve. Right hand. And that's it. Just grab the energy. And there we go. Another 150. I'm not missing anything, right? Six prizes in two attacks, that's it. Let's go. <laughs> All right, when it works like this, then absolutely. Wait, there's no Pionia? Did I not have Pionia in the list? Oh. Pikachu shock face. I am like, there's no Pionia in this with 22 single cards. What? I thought I priced Pionia and the telescopic sight. Surely this needs Peonia. There's no way you don't play Peonia. Um, all right, probably grabbed the wrong list then, but I like how the deck worked in that last game, right? I like the plan that I made in order to win. Um, my opponent didn't even try to play around it, which is fair, um, but hey, we'll take it, right? We will absolutely take it. Um, thanks so much for tuning in. Um, hope this was a good learning experience. It certainly was for me. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.